I'm Deja and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving my first impressions and thoughts as well as showing you how I use the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Sticks as well as the Conceal and Define Concealers. So if you're interested in seeing how I use them and my thoughts on the products, stay tuned and continue to watch. I said I wanted to try the um, Conceal and Define Concealers because a lot of people compare them to the Tarte Shape Tape. And since a lot of people have canceled tart because of that situation with their foundation shades, um, a lot of people were looking for concealers that are dupes for the shape tape. I've never used shape tape, don't any, know anything about shape tape, so I can't really tell you if it's an actual like 100% dupe, but I know um, Alyssa Ashley tried these, um, Jackie Ina tried these, a lot of people on YouTube have tried them. A lot of the American YouTube gurus, gurus have tried them ever since the Shape Tape comparison came out. I just wanted to try them because, you know, why not? So I got three concealer colors and I got three foundation colors. Shade C10, C11, and C13. It did not have C12 at the time when I was ordering. I think I ordered from a U.S. store. So I ordered the concealers because I'm gonna to try to highlight with them don't really think I could contour because the C13 is not dark enough but I didn't know what my color would be as far as highlighting so I just got three different shades because the description said that C13 may not be my color but I didn't know how light or how dark they were because it's kind of hard to tell when you buy stuff online like that fast base um, foundation sticks I got F11, F12, and F13. They come in a little packaging like this, the foundation sticks. I am not a makeup guru. I am a makeup lover, but I am by no means a professional at applying my makeup. So we just gonna work this out as best we can. And the colors kind of did okay, um, but we're gonna see. Let's start with F11. We know that's not it. Okay. F12. And then F13. I think I need like a 12.5. But maybe I can kind of mix them and see what happens. We gonna try. We gonna we gonna try something. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, I did my eyeshadow, my eyeliner off of camera. If you would like to see that, let me know, and I'll put it in a separate video. But it's just um some colors from a Juvia's Place palette. I think it's two different palettes um but if you would like to see that let me know in the comments or just send me a message and let me know so right now i'm putting a little nyx angel veil primer on my face and this is f13 i originally did a first recording of this and i combined f12 and f13 but after i was done i realized that i had like a white cast or kind of like a little shadow looking gray ashy i was looking very white ready for my funeral not really flattering so i decided to take it all off and do it all over again so this is just me applying it all over. I'm blending it out with one of the Beauty Bakery blending eggs. It comes in a pack of six for like $18. They are super soft and I really love them. And I'm adding a second layer for more coverage. So after I added the first layer, I got like a medium coverage and I wanted to see if it was buildable. So I added a second layer to see if I could build it up to full. I think I got full. In my opinion, I feel like it covered very, very well. It's very, very creamy. It blends out very, very good. I have no complaints about that. And then the blending egg did really, really good. So I'm really happy about that. 
I have no complaints about the formula of the sticks. I really like them. Clearly, I like the coverage. I'm feeling myself a little bit. But next, I went with the Conceal and Define Concealer. I did the shade C11 because I knew C10 was going to be too white, but I didn't want it to be ashy looking, so I went with C11. Blend, blend, blend. Blending my life away. Dab, dab, dab. That's all you can do. I always have the hardest time with under eye highlight because it always looks crazy to me. I know in the end it all comes together, but as I'm doing it, it looks like the craziest thing in life to be doing. Next, I'm going to take the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in the color yellow, and that is so hard for me to say. I add that underneath my eyes into my highlighted areas. Y'all see I forgot my forehead? I mean, I'm going to go back and do it because I catch myself later. But I think that that is hilarious. Just completely forgot the whole little forehead area. Didn't blend it out at all. If y'all see me making faces in the video that don't match the words that I am speaking, it's because when I recorded this video, I was on the phone talking to someone and I was laughing and we were cracking jokes. So just don't pay attention to what my lips are saying or if I'm making strange faces, it's not because of the makeup. So next I'm gonna add some black opal invisible setting powder to the other areas of my face to set the foundation. Because I have oily skin, it's always advised that you set your foundation so it'll last a little bit longer. And then I'm going to go in with some soft focus powder by Black Radiance to give myself um, a contour. It's just some powder. I contour with cream or powder or both just depending on my mood. I just wanted to use some powder this time. I could feel myself being, I don't know, lighter. I know the foundation shade is in my exact shade, so I was already feeling some type of way about the color I was just trying to correct it a little bit but y'all gonna see that it doesn't really work out in the end it's a beautiful foundation Next, beautiful go coverage it's just I need to find my correct it shade Cosmetics. and it would be a I lot better looking I got this in an Ipsy bag a while ago it might have been over a year ago Ipsy is a makeup subscription service where you pay ten dollars a month and they send you five makeup sample items and i've had this mascara a while i just never really tried it never really used it and i do not know why because it ended up being great it made my lashes really really long i don't necessarily have short lashes in the first place so i never really can tell when a mascara is really working because i don't need a whole lot of volume or you know length but this one it made my eyelashes look so good and i loved it we are on to eyeliner. This is a Rimmel London black coal pencil. And I was watching the Glam Twins 334 on YouTube years ago. And they suggested that this is like one of the best pencils to use for your waterline. And I got it years ago. We are on to lips and on my lips. First, I'm gonna line them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color Rouge. If you have not invested in ColourPop Cosmetics yet, you are missing out because they are great. The price point is great. You can get this lippy pencil for, I want to say, five bucks. You can get a lipstick for five bucks. They are very affordable. Um, I think they're coming to Ulta or they're already at Ulta. You can go online to their website. I found out about ColourPop years ago and it is one of the best things I found out. It's basically like drugstore pricing but it's very quality in the makeup and they have eyeshadows highlights lip stuff they even have like the concealers so it's a very good company to kind of roll with and then they do collabs with some people of color like makeup shayla has a collab with ColourPop coming out like real soon so i'm excited about that so it's just something for y'all to look out for 
And on top of that, I added the Ultra Matte Lip Color in the shade Limbo. And on top of that, I added a kind of gloss. It's an NYX um, Whippy Lip Color in the shade Coco. Finally, we are on to blush. I'm using a Milani blush. Um, I think it's called Roseo or Rose. I'm going to write it in the description box below. I can't exactly remember how to say it. I'm just adding that to the apples of my cheeks and trying to give them a little bit of color. Now I'm looking at it. I probably should have added a little bit more. I feel like I can't really see it. Final step is to spray myself with some Sephora finishing spray and we're done. Okay, so final thoughts on using the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Sticks. I love the creamy consistency. I love how quick it blends out. I love the coverage. I have no complaints about the actual foundation sticks. Price point, it was about $9, got off the Makeup Revolution website. I do not have any issues with the actual product. I came to the same conclusion. I don't have my right shade. At first I thought F13 on camera, I was looking at it and I thought F13 was too dark. And then when I went back and looked at the original footage, I was like, wait, that looked too light. So like I redid the whole video, but you know, with the magic of editing, um, I read the whole video and so I used F13 by itself because the first time I tried mixing it with F12 because I was like okay maybe it's a little too dark and I'll need to mix it with something lighter and maybe it'll look a little bit better come off a little, come off a little bit different maybe I need to like change it up did that the first time and when I tell you I looked so ashy I looked like a powdered donut maybe later on I'll do like a fails reel because as I told y'all before, I am not a makeup guru, but I just like doing makeup and feeling pretty. So sometimes when I put on my makeup, it's a little wrong. Sometimes when I put on my makeup, I forget to do stuff. Sometimes when I put on my makeup, it come out bomb, and sometimes it don't. I looked horrible, but I redid it, and I used just F13 by itself, and I thought it looked a little bit better, which... In comparison it does look a little bit better um and i just did my full face with it i probably need 14 or 15 and i might have to mix 13 and 14 because it's like it's there but it's not it's like maybe one or two shades off plus side i checked the makeup revolution usa instagram page and they said that the fast base foundation sticks will be coming to alter at the end of this month so although this is not my right shade this is not the right color my foundation i do like the products that i used love the conceal and define concealer so 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 creamy so 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 creamy i love this i love the consistency of this um the foundation sticks have this much product in them which is a lot because I did a lot of swipes and it doesn't seem like I use much at all concealers um they have what is just called the, the doe foot applicator um I really like that um I've never used Tarte Shape Tape I will I will say that again I've never used Tarte Shape Tape however I have used the ColourPop um no filter concealers and I feel like the Makeup Revolutions blend out way better than the ColourPop one. Speaking from somebody who doesn't do makeup all the time, it was just so much easier to use the Makeup Revolution ones. The ColourPop ones are not bad. Once again, um, they're really cheap. I just feel like the Makeup Revolution one was just easier to blend out for me. And I have used the ColourPop one on several occasions. But other than that, I love it. You know, the coverage is great. Except for the color, I'm looking a little, you know, pale. Other than that, I feel like it turned out pretty okay. You can follow me on my Instagram at Deja Ann. Um, I will have the handle in the description box below. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be in the know whenever I post something new. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.